BTN Live rolling on from Chicago. Players from all 14 Big Ten teams in town, including the Michigan Wolverines. You see the photo shoot, the video shoot, and now it's the really enjoyable part. They get to hang out here on BTN. Great to have three of the Wolverines with us. Jordan Glasgow, Khalid Hudson, Ben Bredesen. Guys, thanks so much for dropping by. I, I want to ask you this first. The media has an unofficial poll, a preseason poll. Michigan was the choice to win the Big Ten. As you guys, I know, are well aware, it has been a long time since Michigan's won the Big Ten, the longest drought in Wolverines history. What's it like to wear that mantle, Ben, as the favorites? Um, yeah, uh, I think it, we view it as an honor, um, but we're also just focused on ourselves. You know, we're not trying to, you can't win the Big Ten championship in July. And, uh, you know, having the media pick us as the favorites, that's all well and good. But um, we're just trying to win every single day, uh, win every workout, win every practice. Uh, and I think we're going to, that's going to translate later on for us into winning games. Click, what did you think when you heard that? Um, we look at it as a good thing, you know, but that's not our main focus. Um, our focus is to win every day, um, stack brick on brick each day and just win each day. Um, we know what our main goal is at the end of the season, and that's to be on top. But, you know, the most important thing is to win each day and um, conquer each day and, you know, build everyone up and, you know, work hard in the meeting rooms, in the weight room, and also on the field to be where we want to be. And there is that expectation, I think, when you go to Michigan to be there, right? I mean, you think about, again, more Big Ten championships than any other school winning its program in the history of college football. You guys are certainly aware of all of those things. So what does it take, Jordan, to become a championship program again? So, I mean, as Kalik said, it takes the dedication every day. You know, we want to win every single day. We're not looking at our end goal. We're looking at the process that'll, that'll help us achieve that. Uh, we, want, we want to achieve success, and, you know, we have a lot of people that have done that in our program. Coach Harbaugh understands what it means and what we need to do to become champions, and we just need to trust in him and the process that he gives us. And, you know, if we believe in that completely and we work our hardest as individuals, you know, we'll see team success. You guys have all kind of mentioned this notion of winning the day. And, and I, I understand kind of, you know, what intellectually what, what that's all about. How do you know if you've won the day in all seriousness? Like, how, how, how do you come out of a day saying, yeah, we, we did, we maximized? Yeah, um, you know, there was another coach that was mentioned that earlier, just maximization every single day. But um you know, it's the way we've always put it in the offensive line room is, you know, if you can go if you can go to sleep at night, if you can go home at night and, and kick your feet up and, you know, you have no regrets, there's nothing nagging on your mind that you should have done something a little more, you should have taken one more rep, watched 10 more minutes of film, nothing like that, um, then you maximize your day. And if you can do that every single day, it's just going to roll over and pay dividends for you on later on. And do you feel like you've been there, Kalik? Are you in that mode of we're doing everything we can? Yeah, um, I definitely agree with Ben. You know, after you leave a workout and you feel swole, you know, you go back to your room, like, you know, I feel like I got better. I feel like I got stronger. And, you know, you're in the, way, uh, the meeting rooms and you leave and you say, you know, I feel like I learned more. Um, also on the field, um, you leave the field, you go off the practice field, get in a cold tub and stuff, and, you know, you know in the back of your head, you know, I got better for the team and, you know, I got better for myself. Such an interesting season a year ago, and particularly on your guys' side of the ball, because you were so dominant for most of the season. And then those last couple of games, it just felt like the defense kind of fell apart. Now, some of it, particularly in the bowl game, maybe with some guys who, who didn't play in the game, who had been there earlier in the year. But can you put a finger aside from that? I mean, aside from a few guys being absent, Jordan, what happened there in those last couple of games? Yeah, so, you know, as a, a coaching our our defensive coaching staff is one of the best in the country. You know, they come up they come up with a game plan that'll help us achieve success. And as individuals, it's our job to make sure that, you know, their envision becomes reality on the field. And I feel that as individuals, you know, uh, some of us didn't do our jobs on some plays and that came back to bite us. You know, Ohio State had the talent to make to make those flaws turn into explosive plays and you know, as a result, uh, the score speaks for itself. I think that as individuals and as uh, defensive players, we need to understand that if we do our job and we do what Coach Brown uh, sets out for us to do, then, you know, there's no way we're not going to be successful. If our defenses run correctly, you know, it should be a zero yard gain every single time. So, Kalik, how does what happened on that side of the ball at the end of last year impact or motivate you heading into this season? Yeah, um, the way the season ended last year, we just use it as motivation. Um, we just use it as fire, you know, lit under us to propel us into the next season. 
Um, we know them losses. You know, their last season, we can't change them. We can't go back and change the L to a W. Um, the only thing we can focus on is, you know, the upcoming games and, you know, the upcoming days. Um, so we're going to do whatever we can. Um, we're going to work hard. You know, we're going to bring the young guys up. And, you know, we're going to work together as a team to be better the next year. Ben Jordan mentioned the Ohio State game. What goes through your mind when you think about that series and the way that it's gone for you guys? Uh, yeah, it's obviously incredibly frustrating, uh, you know, on our end. Um, you know, we're zero three against them in, in uh, my time here, and it's um, definitely something that weighs on your mind every single day. Um, like I said before, we're not trying to overlook anybody else. Uh, I feel like there's been times in the past where we've done that, and uh, it's come back to bite us. So this year, we're just focusing on on ourselves every single day, and um, you know, I f we just feel. Uh, you know, inside the building that if we focus on ourselves and don't beat ourselves, it's, you know, we're a tough team to beat and uh, it's going to be tough for anyone else in the Big Ten to, um, to beat us if we don't mess it up ourselves. One of the big narratives surrounding this program this year is Josh Gaddis coming in to run the offense. You're the only representative from that mm -hmm. side of the ball here. So I'm going to ask you, what do you like yeah. about Coach Gaddis and his offense? Yeah, I love the new look that we're, uh, that we're implementing uh, with Coach Gaddis. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a fired up guy. He's got a lot of energy, brings, a, brings that fire every single day to practice, uh, makes you want to play harder for him. And, uh, you know, with the new look on the offense, with, you know, the RPO game and, you know, spreading some things out, just being able to get more playmakers the ball in every single play, um, being able to, you know, break up that workload a little bit so you're not just relying on, you know, Shea throwing it or, you know, a running back running the ball. You know, we can spread it out and get some more options, get some more uh, different ways to attack defenses. Uh, and it's really exciting. And we're we're very big fans of it in, in the offensive line room. Jordan, interested in your point of view, you're a Chicago area guy. You started your career as a walk-on, and here you are back in your home city representing your school, one of just three players chosen to do this for Media Day, one of just over 40 in the entire Big Ten. What's it like to, to have this honor and particularly to have it in your hometown? Yeah, so uh, it's an honor to be a representative of my, of my team, to, you know, be trusted by not only my peers but by my coaches. Uh, you know, I don't really view myself as a, as, a Chicago, as a Chicago kid. You know, I'm a Michigan Wolverine all the way. I don't necessarily identify as, uh, you know, someone from Illinois. I, I feel that, you know, we're all the same. You know, Khalid came from Pittsburgh. Ben came from Wisconsin. Right now we're on the same team. We have the same goal. We're all driving for the same thing, and that's the most important thing. Khalid, as far as your defense is concerned, you guys lost some big names. You know, Devin Bush, uh, Chase Winovich gone from that defense, Rashawn Gary. I mean, the list kind of goes on and on of marquee players in the Big Ten who aren't a part of that D anymore. How does that change your role? Um, you know, it just makes you have to work even harder. But, um, you know, them were great guys who left. Um, but I feel like the guys we got coming in behind them are, you know, great guys and um, guys we can put our trust in. You know, guys like Josh Ross and Brad Hawkins and Jamar Woods and um, guys like Cody Pay, um, the guys that come in and, you know, fill the shoes and, you know, do perfectly fine. You know, I trust in that, you know, they'll have a great season and um, they'll be great assets to our team. Interested from each one of you before we let you go, the trip to South Africa, this is something that Coach Harbaugh has instituted now, taking these international trips every year. I'm fascinated by them. I think it's a wonderful way to extend the educational experience. I can start with you, Ben, and you guys can head down the line. What did you take from that trip? Yeah, Coach always believes that the, you know not all learning happens in a classroom, and uh, you know I certainly can attest to that. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to go on all three of these trips, and you know especially with the South Africa one, um, just seeing how a different part of the world lives, you know, and uh, it humbles you up very, very fast, you know, seeing um, different parts of Africa. Um, you know, we were able to do some um, some work down there with the South African rugby team, um, some university teams down there, uh, put on some uh, rugby and American football camps uh, and help out some of the younger kids there. Um, and then also, you know, we got to go see animals and things that we never would be able to see here, you know, in their wild habitats. Um, just be able to see all of South Africa's natural beauty. Um, you know, that's a once in a lifetime trip that, you know, we've had the fortune and opportunity to take here at Michigan and uh, something that I'll always treasure. What about you guys? Um, I thought it was a great experience for all of us. Um, I thought we had a great time and, you know, it just, you know, a good chance for us to, you know, do uh, team bonding and, you know, come together as a group.
Um, for me personally, you know, it was a huge opportunity, you know, coming from a city like McKeesport, you know, you'll never think you'll be in a country like Africa and, you know, you get a chance to, you know, see them animals and engage with the people there and, you know, you get a chance to see everything. So it was just a huge opportunity for me and I'm, you know, very grateful that I had the opportunity to, you know, go to a country like Africa. Jordan? Yeah, so, I mean, it was a great opportunity to bond with our teammates uh, as well as experience something that we may never be able to experience again in our lives. I mean, I never thought I would be going to South Africa or Africa in general, uh, ever. And, you know, Coach Harbaugh uh, allowed us to have that that honor to experience a different culture, to experience a different way of life, uh, to understand what's going on, the history of another of another country. And there are a lot of things that I wouldn't have under understood about that country or, you know, that way of life if I didn't go there. It, experience it for myself, see see what happened with uh, Nelson Mandela and, you know, you know, visit the people, the residents, the citizens there. And, you know, I feel that, you know, for many players, uh, I can speak for myself only right now, but, you know, he sparked, you know, a want and a love of travel and experiencing new things. And I feel that, you know, many other people also kind of got that love to spark for them as well. Well said. Jordan Glasgow, Kali Cuts, and Ben Bredesen. Thanks so much, guys. Best of luck this year. Thank, Thank you. you. Go Blue.